Hey everyone, Jace from Digital Trends here. We are here with the upcoming HTC Vive Pro. We haven't had a chance to take a look at it just yet. So let's see what's in the box and how it compares to the original HTC Vive. All right, so let's get in here and see what we have. This does differ a little bit from the retail packaging you're gonna see in the store in that it doesn't have the controllers or the um, lighthouse sensors, but it does have the headset and the link box. So let's see how those guys look. Here is the new headset. Let's get it out of this plastic. As you can see, just compared to the original Vive here, it's a slight difference in color. It's a very dark blue, it's almost black. In most promotional shots, it appears much brighter than this. Now, on the interior, there are some differences in how it's set up. The layout here is supposed to be a little bit more comfortable for if you're wearing glasses, a little bit easier to wear for longer periods of time, but we'll have to see if that's actually true. Second thing you'll notice here is under these plastic bags are built-in headphones. Now, this setup we have here has headphones on it, but that's just because we have the deluxe audio strap on it. Also on the inside, one thing we noticed is the nose piece is pretty different. On the HTC Vive Pro, it's very, very soft, flexible rubber. Um, and it's actually in two pieces, so it'll flex to fit whatever your face shape is. Versus the original Vive, the nose piece here is a thicker rubber. Um, it's a solid piece here. It's a little bit less flexible. The outer part of the nose piece here actually comes down further. Versus on the uh, Vive Pro, it's a little bit smoother. It's a little bit of a more open shape which definitely fits with what they were saying about how it's a little bit more comfortable. Something you might not have noticed is the cable management is a little different. On the Vive Pro, it just goes all around the side. It's held in here with this little bracket. And on the HTC Vive itself, the original one, it's a little looser, there's more wires, they're not together. They're held on here with a little bracket, but it's, it's not as quite as a, a clean a design as you see on the Vive Pro here. Here, the cables are managed very nicely. Um, they fall off to the side. It's a single solid cable. And then here, it only becomes a solid cable once it actually gets to the exterior of the headset. You're also gonna notice that the padding at the back is actually much thicker on the HTC Vive Pro than it is on the HTC Vive. Turning them around here, you can kind of see here that the, the foam is very, it's very soft and pliant. There's also an interior piece here to kind of, uh, fit to the back of your head versus the HTC Vive with the deluxe audio strap, which is a much harder plastic, a lot less padding, and overall is probably a lot less comfortable. Now the HTC Vive Pro um, has a different screen setup than the HTC Vive. On the inside here, you're gonna have screens with a max resolution of 2880 by 1600, whereas the original HTC Vive comes in at just 2160 by 1200. We haven't actually had a chance to use it just yet, so we can't tell you exactly what kind of a leap it's gonna be in terms of how it's gonna look in games. But um, just looking at the specs here, that is a pretty substantial increase in resolution. One of the most important differences between these two headsets is actually gonna be the price. The original Vive here is getting a price cut coming down from $600 to just $500, while the Vive Pro is gonna start at 800 with pre-orders available now. Be sure to check back on Digital Trends for our full review, which will be coming soon.